Hello, KM6LYW radio viewers. Hey, we're at the VHF desk today, and we've, uh, we're tuned to 144390. That means we're messing with APRS. Uh, there's some cool virtual stations out there that we can play with. In fact, one of them is brand new, and I'm sure none of you have never seen it before. So before we get to that, I got to thank... Of course, we got to thank our patrons. Thank you, guys. This is the October joiners list for patreon.com slash km6lyw. Simon, Gabriel, Lee, Jim, and Ian. Thank you, guys. New for October. Right on. And, of course, I can't thank the rest of you enough. Uh, this support has been overwhelming, guys. Uh, you know, it's, it's not just an idiomatic expression. Uh, I really am overwhelmed with the support on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Um, so back to APRS. So this is a Yesu... FTM 400 screen that you're looking at here and uh, APRS works on a lot of different radios the, the Kenwood mobiles the Kenwood HTs if you can find them and of course the Yaesu 400 the 100 and the Yaesu HTs uh, the FT you know FT you know, 1DR 2DR 3DR and 5DR I don't know what happened to the 4DR I guess that was like preparation G or something a complete failure anyways a lot of radios support APRS and we're going to use the messaging aspect of this to talk to some virtual radios that live out in the radio land. Um, they're, they're, they're attached to the internet, but they respond as if they're actual radios. So there's a handful of these that will do something interesting if you, uh, if you send them messages. Um, and again, I'm sure one of them is uh, one you've never seen before. And, and we're going to talk about that. So just real quick, uh, if, you, if you're brand new to APRS, um, like on the FTM 400, Two things you got to make sure you've got. Um, I want you to make sure your my position is set to GPS. That's number 26 here. And then uh, up here on number 5, you want to make sure the APRS modem is on, okay? And at that point, you should be cool on APRS, and your radio will be something similar. I also want you to make sure you do transmit a beacon first. I'm going to do a beacon TX. And we just sent a beacon. I know, you know, you don't care about your position, uh, but the APRS Information Service needs to know where you are in order to light up towers in your location. So every now and then you need to send a beacon just to kind of log into the network. Uh, you can think of it that way. So next thing we want to do if we're going to mess with these stations is uh, make sure I got my list here is to pull up the message menu. So on the 400, you, you know, you press the F key. And you see a bunch of things you can click on. Well, one of those things is going to be message. And I actually put mine down here in the bottom row because I use it so much. All right, let's start playing with stations here. The, the first one I want to show you guys, and this one's brand new, is a station called Repeat. Um, that's its call sign. Uh, call sign Repeat. And then I want you to send it some text. So in this case, um, I've, I say N2, November 2. And what this means is send me the nearest two repeaters voice repeaters to my location. And this could be N3, and it would, and it would respond with the three closest uh, repeaters for your location. So this is brand new. Um, let's gonna, we're going to try it out. Hopefully hopefully this works. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a reply, which will put it into an editor. You know, from here I can edit the call sign, I can edit the text. But I'm going to go ahead and send this message as is. So I'm asking the repeat call sign on APRS to send me the two closest voice repeaters. Here it goes. And they're off. And the radio's going wild. We got an acknowledgement. We got the first one. We got the second one. That's them. We got them. I'm just going to hit back and then go back to messages and go to the top. We'll see we got two new messages here. There's the, uh, the little uh, dog-eared piece of paper, a little dog-eared piece of paper there. So the first one we got back was this guy. Um, so W6YDD is two miles east of my current location. And we know it knows my location because we just sent a beacon, right? And we're using GPS. How cool is that? So I can log into that repeater over voice mode. The second one is W6EK and he's seven miles west of me. In fact, that's our club repeater. So when you are traveling and you're on the road and you have no idea what repeaters are near you, like, you know, I'll drive through Nevada and, uh, I have no idea what the repeaters are there. You know, I always forget to write them down. They're not on the radio. We'll just send N1 or N2 or N3 to call sign repeat, and you'll get the, the closest repeaters to your area. This has the entire repeater book database in it. Um, and it was made by my closest friend and best programmer I know, and that's Walt Boring. 
And he's WB4BOR, and we co-developed the, the back end for this software. So WB4BOR, and uh, check him out on Patreon. Uh, he's largely responsible for doing the repeat API for our APRS service. All right, that's repeat. So how many we got more here? Um, so we did repeat. I want to make sure I get them all. There's another one called WX Bot. You know, a lot of people are really familiar with this one. Uh, it's currently down, if I remember right, which is a total bummer. Um, but we're going to do it anyway. So there's another station called WXBot. And if you send it your zip code or just some gibberish, um, it will find your location and send you the weather for your location. So I'm just going to do reply to WXBot here. And I'm going to transmit it, but I don't think we're going to get a response. Because last time I checked, it was down. But don't worry, we've got a workaround for this. I say WXBot is down. It was down yesterday, too. So instead of going to WXBot, I actually wrote a weather service for our APRSD auto replier, and it's KM6LIW-9. So if you send a message to a station called KM6LIW-9 and send it the word weather, or just something that starts with W, that's all it cares about. Let me see if I can get that to focus a little better. All right, we're gonna send KM6LIW-9, the key keyword weather, and I'm gonna transmit that. And we are going to get the weather for our location, and it just popped up on the screen. It's 45 degrees right now. Um, so I can go back, actually go back to my message list, and we can take a look at that weather. So here's, we got the weather report for our location. How cool is that? Now, normally you use a WXBot to do this. It's got a lot more features, but you know, if WXBot isn't down, we can adapt and overcome and use KM6LYW-9. That's me, and it will respond with the weather for your location. This uses the National Weather Service stuff. Um, I don't think it works outside of the Americas. So that's KM6LYW-9. All right, so now we're getting into the interesting stuff. We're seeing how many stations we can operate per minute here. Um, there's another one called, and you guys probably know this one, uh, SMS GTE. This is the uh, SMS gateway. So you can send and receive messages to, uh, from, to, to and from cell phones using your radio, radio in the middle of, no, of nowhere uh, using nothing more than APRS. So I'm going to reply to this. So send a message to SMS GTE and then uh, use an at character and then a phone number and then uh, the rest of the text that you want to go to a cell phone. And then I'm going to go ahead and say message transmit. It's going, it just, we got an acknowledgement. And if you look at my phone, what do you see? Ah, I just got a text. How about that? It worked. So we just got a, a text from SMS GTE, and I can use my cell phone to reply to that as well. In fact, that might be kind of fun. Um, I'm just going to crack open the cell phone here. I don't know if you guys can see this. And here is the text. SMS to your phone, and I'm going to come down here and reply. I'm just going to say reply, R-E-P-L-Y, and send that message. So I just sent a message that says reply. And then over here, hey, there's the reply on my radio that I just sent with my cellular telephone. Hey, that's a mobile device for the, the, you guys in Europe. So that's SMS GTE. That's a totally cool site. I use this all the time to talk to people who don't use radios. Well, they use radios. They're just not on our frequency, right? They're cell phones. So everything you want to know about SMS GTE is at smsgte.org. You need to set up an account there. It's free, but I really would encourage you to uh, make a small donation. Um, it's a totally cool service. All right, so that's SMS GTE. All right, we're still cruising through, trying to operate as many of these radios as we can. Um, what's another one we can do? I'll go into our message queue again. There's one called email dash two. Now this is just a simple email service. And here's one, uh, you get, need to sign up for this one as well. It's totally free. And we're gonna reply to that. So I want you to send a message to email dash two. And then this service lets you have an alias. So does SMS GTE for that matter. But I'm gonna send to an alias that I set up earlier called CL, that's my initials. And I'm gonna say email to me. Um, so this is email dash two. And I'm gonna send this message to them right now. All right, got lots of modem noises. I got an acknowledgement that says email sent to that alias, and that was that's my user. Um, cool, so that email was sent. In fact, uh, I don't know if this phone picks up that email. I'm just gonna take a peek at it. I'm, I'm poking at my phone right now. 
Um, it'll, it'll probably pop up. Email isn't quite as fast as SMS texting. Yeah, there it is. So here it is. Email to me. Let me get this to zoom in. There it is. KM6LYW, email to me. That's my phone. Um, this one you don't reply to, so it's not two-way, but at least you can get a message out to someone with, with email. Ultimately, totally cool. Um, so those are the big e uh, services I can think of for, let me get this in focus. For APRS, uh, those are virtual radios in the cloud, and you can mess with them. Um, in fact, KM6LYW-9 has other services as well. Uh, you might want to mess with it and see what it responds with. It tells you what it can do. Now, if you want to create one of these services, we've made that easy as well. So KM6LYW Radio has a GitHub account. In fact, it's Craiger L is the account. Um, that's me, Craiger L. And uh, like I said, Walt and I have been working on APRSD, that's APRS Daemon, and this is just software that runs anywhere on the internet and will respond as if it were an APRS radio. So you can talk to it with your radios. And it has a plugin architecture, so you can write your own plugin. So right now it does stuff like, you know, ping, it'll do email, it'll do weather, um, it'll do that repeat service. So Walt just added that repeat plugin, so it has repeater book on it. So APRSD is out there if you want to uh, create your own service. I have a whole nother video on that, APRSD. Look up that on YouTube. So I don't know, search for KM6LYW APRSD and you'll find the software to create your own service. And the only thing we ask in return is that you tell us what your service is so we can use it and make something cool. Uh, get creative here. Um, additionally, you know, I don't want you to overlook APRS.FI. Um, that's pretty much the APRS Information Service web interface. So all of your APRS uh, activity is tracked there, basically. Um, you know, I'm looking at the, uh, the messages for my station, KM6LYW Radio. And you'll see kind of a transcript of the things that we just did here. And you, you can see the, you know, my repeat request. You can see me sending a text message and an email. Remember, none of this is private. There's no expectation of privacy on the radio. And it keeps this information around for about, about two weeks. Actually, it's uh, probably more private than cell phones because the cell phone data is kept forever. So anyways, that is APRS in a nutshell. The, uh, there's probably more services out there. And in fact, if you want to see if new ones pop up, you can look for bulletins. A lot of people will put these on uh, bulletins. So here we are on APRS.FI slash bulletin. And you'll see things like, you know, WXBot, he's advertising his service, which is unfortunately down right now. And you'll just see bulletins from around the world. A lot of these are people that uh, have made services, and they're just trying to advertise them here. There's, there's others that I didn't hit on, like, for example... Um, if you send a message to call sign ISS and just send it gibberish, uh, it will respond with the next time the ISS will rise over your location. I mean, there's lots of little cool things like that out there. So anyways, this has been an APRS demo. And uh, there's radios out there that are just waiting for you to mess with them. So send them, uh, send them requests, see what they respond with. All right, this is KM6LYW Radio, and uh, I'm clear.